Hi guys, for science today, we're gonna to continue to talk about parts of a plant. Today, we're gonna to focus on flowers. Flowers are the parts of a plant that blossom. Flowers produce the seeds that can become new plants. Most plants, including many trees, grow some kind of flower. Flowers have male and female parts that are necessary for reproduction and creating new flowers. In many plants, flowers are the most colorful part. We use flowers for decoration, for special occasions, and we even eat them as food. Here are a few flowers that we eat. We eat broccoli, cauliflower, and artichokes. There are various parts of the flower that we need to know. Flowers have a male and a female part that work together to make seeds. The seeds then become new plants. Some flowers have both the male and female parts on one flower, and some even have either a male or a female part. It is really amazing how nature works to get all the parts of the flower together to create the seeds to make the new plant. So as you can see, uh, the blue is pointing to these kind of like long, skinny, green, um, pieces with the little piece on with the little yellow piece on top that is the male part and then the female part is this one in the center the big yellow and then it starts at the bottom is big and it's kind of small at the top the male part of the flower is called the stamen and the stamen is made up of filament and an anther the anthers make a bunch of pollen so the anther are these little top yellow pieces they're really sticky and have lots of pollen Pollen is a fine powder that is often yellow and sometimes can make you sneeze. Flowers can use the pollen to make seeds through a process called pollination. So again, we have the anther, which has the pollen on it, and the filament, which is kind of like the little green piece, um, stem kind of like thing that is attached to it. Um, as you can see here, we can see various parts of the stamen, and, um, various flowers with stamen, and you can see that they look all a little bit different. Here there's a little more of like a taco shape. This one's more kind of like long and skinny. Here's our another one, more. And this one's even brown in their little tiger lily here. So as you can see, each flower has a stamen um, with the anther, which is kind of that sticky piece. Um, and uh, they each kind of look a little bit different. The female part of the flower is called the pistil. The pistil is made up of a stigma style and an ovary. The stigma is where the pollen will land on the pistil. So this is like the very top of it. Um, the style supports the stigma and is a space where the pollen can get down to the ovary. So this is kind of like a straw. It's kind of like holding up the stigma and then once the pollen gets to it, it comes down into the bottom, which is the ovary. The ovary is where the seeds will develop when the pollen makes its way all the way down. So down here is where the seeds develop. So that's the female part, the pistil. So now let's look at the pistil. As you can see here, it even kind of looks a little bit different on each flower. One in the middle, in the middle. This one's really different. Again here and here. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click and drag these arrows. I'll show you on the slide here. And you're gonna show me the pistil and the stamen. So um, as you can see in your example here on the tiger lily, this big tall piece right here in the middle is the stamen. So I clicked and dragged my arrow to the stamen. And then the um, little brown part is the um, pistil. So again, you're gonna click and drag to the stamen. So the stamen's kind of in the middle there and then click and drag the red to the pistol, which is these little outside pieces. All right, so you have two more to do. When pollen is moved from the stamen to the pistil, it is called pollination. So when it is moved from these pieces on the outside to the middle on the inside, that pistil, then that's called pollination. When pollination, when pollen, sorry, moves down to the ovary, then seeds form. These seeds will eventually make a new plant. So when these little pieces of pollen come into the, into the um, pistil and down into the ovary, it creates a seed, which is what creates a new plant. 
So how do you think the pollen gets from the stamen to the pistil? You're going to write in the box. You're going to tell me. What do you think happens? Does the wind carry it? Does an animal carry it? Does it just fall there? How does it get from the stamen to the pistil? All righty. Uh, so don't forget, you have two things you have to do. You are going to um, label the two parts. You're going to identify the pistil and the stamen, and then you're going to answer, how do you think that the pollen gets from the stamen to the pistil? When you are all done with that, you can submit your assignment and you're done with science for the day.